and welcome to Lab Rats. I'm Nicole. And I'm Drew. And you might want to suit up in some safety gear because we are going to throw everything the lab has at our Lab Rats today to try and find a winner. So let's see what our Lab Rats have. <laughs> All right, over on the red team, we've got Tom and CJ. Now, Tom, what would you want to do when you get a bit older? Well, I'd like to be a fireman and maybe a famous soccer player. Have you got a favourite player? Uh, Steven Gerrard. And should we tell Steven to watch out? Yeah. Yeah? So you can't. Tom's coming for you. Awesome. Now, CJ, what um, cool things do you do in your spare time? Well, I go to the skate park, I hang out with my friends. Can you do any really cool tricks on that skateboard? Um, yeah. McTwist. A McTwist. Has that got anything to do with McDonald's? No. No? <laughs> Alright, guys, well, let's put your skills to the test today and see how we fare. On the blue team today, we have Emily and Jenna. Now, Emily, what do you love to do most in the world? I like cooking. What type of cooking do you do? I make cookies and cupcakes and all sorts of stuff. Any particular type? Um, chocolate ones with M&Ms in them. Cool. All right. Now, Jenna, what do you want to do when you get a bit older? I want to be a makeup artist, a movie makeup artist. So you want to do like the really full-on stuff, like the zombie makeup and the monster movie stuff? Yeah, kind of. That <laughs> is very cool. Two skilled girls on the blue team today. Retake on the reds. Let's not wait any longer. Let's get into the Nano Challenge. <laughs> going fishing and this is the type of fishing trip where you're guaranteed to catch something. Oh, I like the sound of that. On the end of this fishing rod here we have a magnet and in each of these film canisters we have a little metal ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to use that magnet to pick them up. So Nick, I'm going to give the rod to you but to make things just a little bit more difficult I'm going to get you to put on these very cool glasses. Oh, nice. Safety glasses. <laughs> We've covered over one side so you're only going to be able to see out of one eye. So, so put those on for it's me. It's going to be even more difficult for me to go fishing. We'll oh. see. Fish away, catch us something. I'm just going to stop that from swinging. Try and make it easier for yourself. Oh. If you must. <laughs> you weren't joking when you said... Oh, oh she's finally got there. Let's see if I caught something. Woo! There you go, beautiful. <laughs> now, that's a little undersized. We'll have to throw that back. So we'll just <laughs> kiss that and get that back in there. Now, you want to know why it was so hard yeah, for you to do that once we covered that? up one eye? Well, you're still able to see with one eye, but our brain relies on both our eyes to be able to judge things like distance. OK, so if we cover up one eye, it can still get some clues, but it's a lot, lot harder, as you found it out. It was very difficult. <laughs> so the task for our lab rats today is to try and catch as many of those little metal balls as they can with one eye covered up. They'll have two minutes to catch as many as they can. The team that can get the most will earn themselves 10 points. Your time starts now. Oh, one for the red team. That's what I see you, Jake. Tally up the blue teams. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for the blue team. Okay, now it's time to count up the red score. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten also. So we have ourselves a tie. Both teams picking up the ten points for the nano challenge. What was it like? Hard. Hard? What, what do you think made it so hard? The glasses. I would have been able to do it easily without 
the glasses on. It was actually pretty easy, just the glasses really got you when you had to only use one eye. That's true, really yeah. hard fo focusing, yeah. Yeah, because it was like further away or closer than I thought it was, so I couldn't really get it. Both our teams doing very well there. We have the blue team on 10 points. And the red team also on 10 points. Yeah. I think we have ourselves a very interesting match, Drew. We certainly <laughs> do. Let's see if one team can break away from the other during what will happen if. OK, Lab Rats, for five points, you need to tell me correctly what is going to happen when I drop both of these balls at the same time. It might bounce. I've tried it before, so... It might bounce? What do you mean by that? might bounce back up to you. Like, might the ball might bounce on top of the basketball. Probably when the basketball falls, it's going to fall and the green ball's going to sort of not go down as fast, but when the basketball bounces, it's going to hit the ball. I think that if you drop them at the same time, the small ball will go, like, really high. The basketball back up. will go down faster than the yeah. small ball because it's got more weight. And on. it'll hit the ground and bounce back up and hit yeah. the other ball. I <laughs> think that's what happens, but yeah. I think I've tried it. You think you've tried it before? I can't. I think it went high. Well, it could have been a dream, but either way, <laughs> we'll lock that in. Uh -huh. Both have had teams have gone for the same answer, so let's see if they're right. OK, Drew, if I can get you to stand over there. OK. I'm going to drop the balls at the same time, see what happens. Ready? Yes. Whoa! <laughs> that is out of there! That's you don't even need power. me here! <laughs> That's unreal. You sort of gave that smaller ball a little rocket with the larger basketball. Well, that's kind of what happens. See, when we drop them together, they fall at the same speed. But because the big ball's underneath, it bounces first and then collides with the little ball on top. When that happens, it transfers its energy to the little ball. And because the little ball is lighter, it gets flung off at a really high speed. Like when two people are on a trampoline, you can do a mega jump. That's exactly right. So both teams successful there, picking up five points each. Yes. Good work, Points are being added, but not much is changing. We have the blue team on 15 points. And the red team also on 15 points. It's still a tie all the way. It's like they're walking hand in hand <laughs> through this race. Well, let's see what happens when we throw them head first into Method Madness. Who will be the first team to make it through the labyrinth, complete the rat race, earn the ultimate 30 points and get cheese? Will it be blue? <laughs> So we need to separate them somehow because we need to have a clear leader so they can decide who will go first in Method Madness. Drew, let's introduce the randomizer. Teams, with the randomizer, you have to choose one of these powders to add to your solution. The powder, once added to your liquid, may create a chemical reaction. It may not. If yours does create a chemical reaction, you'll be the winner of the randomizer and pick up five points. So go right ahead and choose one let's of these choose. powders. You'll have this one? Okay, hang on to that for me, Jenna. You guys will have this one. We ready? Three, two, one, go! go. Oh! Whoa! Blue team has your reaction. It's five points to the blue team. Now, our lab rats have a very cool challenge on their hands today. They need to knock down all of the balls in the quickest time possible. Okay, but you can't just throw it at the balls. The string has to be, see how it's really nice and tight now? The string has to be like this the whole time, okay? Whichever team can do this in the quickest time possible will get themselves a huge 15 points. But only one team at a time, right, Drew? That is true. Blue team are in the lead now after picking up those five points, so red team get to make the call. Do you guys want to be shrunk down or do you want to go first at this? Want to go first? Yeah, first? Blue team, that means it's time to be shrunk. <laughs> Girls, you're standing under the shrinking ray. How do you feel? Don't know. It's a little scary. <laughs> Don't know what to expect, Jen? No. Nope. All right. Let's get the shrinking underway and find out. <laughs> Girls, you are now what they call in the chocolate bar industry fun size. How does it feel? 
Now we don't want you peeking on the boys, so to make sure you don't sneak over and get a look, Nick will just place this cage around you. <coughs> We've got a friend of ours for you to play with. Here she is. <coughs> Looks to me like the blue team have plenty to do. Let's throw the red team into some method madness. I think I'm going to go for the left one, mm -hmm. so that's going to come to the middle one, and the middle ones are going to knock over the right ones. Yeah. It's yeah, kind of like a yeah. domino effect, is yeah. that? Domino yeah. effect. Sort of, yeah. Yeah. The quickest time possible is what we're after. Your time starts now. Oh. Now it's time to unshrink the blue team. What's your plan of attack? Well, I was thinking maybe how it hits the table. You can maybe like swing it around so it goes around the outside and comes through. So you're going to be throwing some curveballs. Yeah. Blue team, you got to go as fast as you can. You ready? Yep. Okay, your time starts now. Good swing, Emily. Oh, damn. Emily, you're up. each other out if you need to, blue team. <laughs> so close. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> One more to go. Come on, blue. Stop the clock. That seems like a pretty good time to me. Let's find out just how close this game is going to stay. Time's for the bowling. We had the blue team do it in one minute, 19 seconds. And the red team did it in 43 seconds, which means they're the champions of Method Madness, picking up a very handy 15 points. Let's chuck that on the scoreboard and see how things look. We have the blue team on 20 points. And the red team now out in front on 30 points. Well done, guys. It's looking a lot more interesting it now, is. huh? It is. They finally separated, but how little all fair when we enter the rat race. Stick around and find out. For the rat race, it's good to be smart. And it's also good to be quick. And it helps to be able to see in the dark. Nicole, the first, first players in, in the, the party go accelerator. To grab the most bonus points to add to their score. They're called status accelerators. Quick, it's time to start the rat race. Welcome everybody to the labyrinth. Drew, what's in store for them? Check this out. This is lots of fun. We're going to take everyone's friend, the sponge, mm -hmm. right, and dip it 
and water there. And as we know, when we dip it in water, it becomes a lot heavier and soaks up all of that water. That's because sponges are made of tiny fibres all tangled together. And they leave spaces in between them when they're all tangled. And usually these spaces are occupied by air, which is why sponges are nice and light. But when we dunk them into the water, as we've just seen, water occupies those spaces. And because water molecules are really attracted to one another, they're held in there. Okay? You guys need to use these, fill them up, so they're nice and wet, and throw them to your partner. Nick, if you could jump down right. the other end for me. I'll help you out. Throw them to your oh, partner. Squeeze, and squeeze the here. water in there like so. Once that ball moves up and mm -hmm. makes it to that line, they're right to move on through the maze. Righty, so what our lab rats need to do today is make their way through the labyrinth as fast as they can, not forgetting to pick up the status accelerator points. But they're not the only points that you can grab. Lovely. It's a points bonanza in the rat race. That's when you come in here, you complete this challenge by getting that ball to go all the way up to that line. Once you've done that, you can head through into the final maze. The first team to get cheese scores themselves 30 points. Just gonna run through and give it all, give it stick all our together. best. Stick together. Stick together. Fast. Just go fast. as fast as you can. And we're gonna stick together. Yes. So who's gonna throw and who's gonna catch? Well, I'll throw and Callum can catch. Yep. Okay. It's all sorted. Yep. Go Blues. These guys are fired up and ready to go. Red team, you ready? Yeah. Blue team, you ready? Yeah. All right. Well, so am I. So let's do this. On your marks. Get set, go! Give them a push, that's the way. Go, go. Red team are first out through the big squeeze, making their way through that laser field. The blue team aren't far behind. Ducking and weaving through those lasers, making their way through the smoke, up towards the rope climb. Red team are first on the rope. CJ is up there first as Janet takes to the rope climb. Blue team about, oh, half the rope climb ahead of them. Blue team, half the rope line ahead of the blue team, but blues are catching up fast. Go guys, they're just about to enter the end of the visual favour. Straight away! How's that? They can't see a thing in there. He's kept crawling and he's gone right on through. They can't see a thing. Come on, come on.
this game has been close <laughs> from the start and it has just not let up. I thought the red team had it in the bag there, but blue team, you just took over. 30 points to the blue team. But that's not all in the points department. Guys, you picked up 15 points extra with the status accelerator, and red team, you picked up 35. So how has this made our final scoreboard look? Let's take a look. <laughs> Who can tell? We have the blue team now on 65 points. And the red team also on 65 points. <laughs> we have a tight match. I cannot believe this. There's only one way to sort this out, and that's to go to the randomizer. You can't get any closer than this. The team that chooses the correct vial of powder that causes a chemical reaction will get themselves five points, which means they will be today's winner. Let's do it, Drew. <laughs> choose teams. Quick choose. You're going for that one. There you go. Right. Okay, we're going to count you in for today's winner. Three, two, one, go! Oh, oh, go oh, to the blue team! Oh, blue team, take it out! Congratulations, oh, well blue team! Oh, well done, everybody. I don't think we'll get any closer if we try. No, it's just <laughs> proven that only one thing is certain. Nothing is certain around here. We hope you'll join us for more next time. Thank you so much. See you later. See ya.